Good evening. Well, you said my name, so I won't say it again. I do have to say one thing. I think we all have to stop meeting like this. What do you say? <laughs> I think so. So, I've spent many years in Loveland, as most of you know. I've been here for, gosh, over 25 years. I know that you find that hard to believe. Um, I was hoping that last year would have been the last year for me to be here, but for some reason, here we are again. And I come here tonight as a friend of the farmer's market, but also as a very concerned citizen. And the last council meeting that I was at left me with more questions than answers. The biggest one being why does the council majority seem to be so out of step with the community that they serve? I don't understand. Frankly, when so many from our community came and respectfully voiced their concerns, it was disturbing to be lectured by the mayor and basically to be told, take it or leave it. It was equally disturbing to hear from a member of the council majority that change is hard. Honestly, the amendment to the special events ordinance is so exorbitant that it borders on extortion. And the way the amendment was being voted into place in December, I hardly think adversity to change is an adequate description of the present situation. Finally, and most recently, the city has offered to work with people. And that seems generous. But it in no way alleviates the problem. It only puts the city in a place to pick and choose which looks like they're playing favorites. Who would qualify for these exemptions and why? If the city really wanted to work with the people, they would repeal this amendment and put something better into place. I beg you. So where do we go from here? How do we address governance that seems to have lost its way and no longer represents its constituency or its community? All of us love our community, or we wouldn't be here tonight. The events that we will be losing are what make our city our city. And to the council majority, I say, you are our elected officials, and this should not be happening. You are supposed to represent us. So what are we to do? Well, folks, i got to tell you, when the going gets tough, the tough organize. And we have been organizing. And while presently this is difficult, we are looking forward to a much better opportunity. It gives me a great deal of satisfaction and pleasure to announce tonight that there is a new political action committee that has been formed and registered with the Board of Elections, Loveland Community Heartbeat. Our primary vision is to support candidates and charitable organizations who embrace the values of fiscal conservancy, social responsibility, and support for community building initiatives, including those who, are, who give support to local businesses, farmers, and artisans. Additionally, we will work diligently to keep the aforementioned from being impeded. Those are our values. Community with a heart. Governance that works with for and listens to its constituency. And we welcome those who wish to become stakeholders in this organization. And rest assured, you will be hearing more from us in the near future. Thank you for your time.